Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So my tomatoes are not ripening yet. They're getting big. We've got a couple good-sized ones. These, I mean, not quite, but these should be starting to ripen pretty soon. These are San Marzano's, and this is about as big as they get. They can get bigger, but how I grow them is about as big as they get because I let a lot grow on the vine. Not a whole lot are starting to ripen. Might have a couple here and there. There's one back there starting, um, even on my cherries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fertilize them one more time just in hopes that I get some good uh, ripening on them. And so what I'm mainly going to be using is this more bloom. This is a 0 10, 10. I'm looking for phosphorus and potassium and not necessarily a whole lot of uh, nitrogen. The fish plant food stuff has 5 1, 1 but also has some other stuff in it that is really good for the plant. So I am going to give a little bit of this, not a whole lot. It's mostly going to be this just to be able to boost the final growth. So always shake this stuff before use. We're not putting a lot, just, just a little, little bit of that. This we will put more. There we go. And then we just fill it up. So when filling this up, I like to put a little water in and shake it up. Okay, there we go. So just super simple. So while I'm here doing this, might as well also feed my root veggies, which take pretty much the same thing. Root veggies don't like a whole lot of nitrogen. Here we go, these are my carrots and other root veggies. So I'll bring you guys back in a couple weeks and see if that boost really helped with these tomatoes. So it was a rainy and cold day here in Texas on November 12th. So I had fertilized these tomatoes, hoping to get a boost in them ripening, and I think it worked. Now, not all of them are, start, are ripening yet, but I do, I don't know if you can see that, but there's quite a few orange, cherry tomatoes in there quite a few in fact if you look in the back there's even more okay so we've got we definitely have some starting to ripen on the weather channel channel app we are not even seeing any frost in the next two weeks but it takes a while for this to pop up all right so if you see here we're the coldest it's getting is 49 degrees there and that is it so in two days it's going to be 49 degrees and that is the coldest that we're going to have until the 26th, according to this app. Now, these things change, and it's not always accurate, and sometimes, you know, the weather will turn, and it might get cold. But in the foreseeable future, according to the Weather Channel, I'm not going to have frost for the next two weeks. So I suspect, and I'm quite confident, that pretty much all of these cherry tomatoes will ripen. I don't think I'm going to get ripening on my beef steaks. However, I'm confident that I will get some of these San Marzano's to ripen. In fact, I do have one back here that is ripening. So I think that was a good thing to be able to add that fertilizer. It gave them a boost and now they're going to send a lot of their energy to fruiting and to ripening. Possible one or two of these Cherokee purples or purple Cherokees or however you call them might ripen. I love those, by the way. I really hope so. Those are my favorites. Hopefully they do. But otherwise, I will at least get a ton of these. I mean, there's so many fruit in here. Just everywhere you look, there's fruit in the San Marzano's, and I got a ton of these cherry tomatoes. They just did phenomenal. So I should be able to get some. In fact, I've gotten quite a few already that I've picked in the last couple days. It did take about a week, week and a half since I fertilized for them to start ripening like this. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate you coming along and viewing my videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that like button and hit that bell notification for future video updates. I do make a video almost every single day. A lot of content for you guys to watch if you're interested. Well, I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.